Can I Hi guys, welcome cool. back to my channel. It's Mazna X here, and okay. I know I was wearing the same outfit in the end of the other video, the teeth whitening video, but I don't care. No one cares. I'm gonna do this all in one take. Today I wanted to talk about my skin hydrofacial that I went and got done at Health and Aesthetics. They were so so, so sweet you guys, they were so lovely. I got my face done by Chloe, she did my hydrofacial, we had a great chat. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. What I love about hydrofacial is it literally sucks out everything and uh, all the bad things and the skin is literally left feeling so amazing by the end of it. So that's the reason why I love hydrofacials. It also moisturizes your face with Hydra. Um, the clinic is so nice as well, it's sort of near Surrey, especially if you want to get your lips or your eyes or I don't know what people want to get done these days if you want to get things like that done sometimes it's not the best thing to like say walk out and then there's like busy London happening so it's quite nice to, to be somewhere quite hidden where there's forestries and nature and things one conversation that we had was they were saying they a lot of the clients they get coming in from London because they don't want to obviously walk out with like swollen huge lips and um, they can just like get in the car drive home, easy peasy done. I got the facial done. I hope you enjoyed seeing my video with this face. I don't know what I'm saying, but I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. So guys, look at that. <laughs> so that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see my uneven face. <laughs> so we're just taking off my face makeup. I didn't wear that much foundation. I just concealed my blemishes because I knew I was getting my facial done. Okay, so if you pop your head into the egg cup and then pop your forehead forwards, what we're going to do is three flashes. Okay, so keep your eyes closed for me. Just gonna spin the camera around. Okay, and we're now gonna take the next angle. Okay, you can come out for me now. Lovely. Okay, so what the photos do is they look underneath the skin. So we look yeah. at the complexion, and then we're gonna look at the pigmentation. And we'll look at skin redness, bacteria on the skin, and also pores. So we can see you get a little bit of um, breakouts just here underneath yeah. the surface. So this is just where we've got some more open pores. Got a few little breakouts just along the hairline as well. But otherwise it, it looks it looks really good. It looks nice and healthy. And we can improve the skin quality though by um, skin care. Mm. What you can see is all of the orange is bacteria. So this is oil production within the skin. What we need to do when we have oil issues, we generally have either redness we suffer with or we suffer with pigmentation. So in the dermatology world with Dr. Abaji, we learn about pigmentation is attracted to oil, acne is attracted to oil, and rosacea is caused by oil. So when we're a child and we don't really have many oil glands and then we hit puberty and oil kicks in, that's when we all start suffering with all these issues. So if we start to stabilize oil we then start to be able to stabilize the skin so this is rosacea reddening underneath the skin yours is nice and even all we have is a little bit of capillaries just around the nose this is our brown spots so deep dermal sun damage okay no it's good so we like a nice even tone is what we like to see and then we look at UV so this is where we start seeing your scar Okay, so this is the surface and we can start to see freckles and things like this on the skin as well. We can see a little bit of the scarring that you've mentioned 
that you receive with breakouts. Okay. So if we start to regulate the skin cells better, then you'll start at first, initially you may receive more breakouts because we need to regulate the skin and get it turning over. And then you'll start after six weeks to notice that it will then become better. One skin cycle is six weeks. Now this is where we start to go back to the normal skin tone. You can see a little bit of the visualization on the top of those veins. And also if I go back one to the polarized version, here we can see a little bit of clogged pores. So the hydrofacial is going to be fantastic for helping with your clogged pores. And then on this side, there's not much scarring, but we do have just underneath the skin is just a little bit of some breakouts. So I think breakouts are your main problem that we're going to try and help today. Also, we've got some open pores, so we can really help with that. So we can give you a suggestion of some skincare um, to help to improve skin quality and textures for you. Also some dryness over the surface, and this is just because we can yeah. fill out. So we'll fill out our form, okay? Your skin for open pores and breakouts. I'll fill out a skincare routine, okay? And Chloe's gonna use these products on you today in your hydrofacial. Um, she'll use the cleansers, the SPFs, the daily cleansers. now with Chloe and she's just helping me fill out some forms because I have so many. I had the consultation and they talked about exactly what I needed for my skin so they've sort of personalized my treatment almost so you guys have like sort of decided what's more necessary and that's, yeah, that's quite good because I've never had that before and I'm quite excited to get this facial done and hopefully my skin will be amazing. It's glowing! Yeah. <laughs> okay. So your first section of your hydrofacial is your lymphatic drainage. Yeah, he, he films quite a lot now, he's got... Foam cleanse. So that's yeah. the one. Really nice and gentle, helps to get all your makeup off. Can feel a bit tender. This is just opening your lymph node. Where you've got little dips in your that should be your really collar foam. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes they can feel quite tender. Yeah. So if you're quite clogged up, they can feel a little bit sore really? to push That's down. So strange. I've never had that done before. It just opens them up. So and that's connected drainage. with my face. Yeah. They're all connected. So it's like crazy. your drainage system for the body. main ones on the face we're gonna drain out yeah. into these lymph nodes. Such a gentle treatment this bit. <laughs> and now draining, so we're declogging anything under the skin. So it's really good to be yeah. Uh, it's really common to get puffy eyes and that could all, you know, it's not necessarily lack of sleep, it could just be built up lymphatic basically. That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. there's a lot of scientific evidence in um, ZO skincare. So yeah. we like to stick stick by it stick and science, yeah. Absolutely, and we've seen fantastic results from it. So I'm just gonna remove because we just used a really small amount of coconut oil just for the slip. So we want to make sure we get all of that off. So let me know if the vacuum feels too strong for you, okay? It feels really weird. <laughs> yeah. Would you like me to turn the vacuum down yes. a little bit? So really, this is giving it a good yeah. cleanse that it's not actually used to. How's that feel? A bit better? Yeah. We want to get as many lines in as possible. So we're giving it a good thorough cleanse. You guys are very serious about your cleanse. Oh yeah, <laughs> a good deep cleanse is what you need. I'm going to get right over that block four under there as well. Now you understand why you could be a little bit pink afterwards. So you've got a teeny tiny milia under here. Can you see a little yeah. white dot? My mum said I had that and I don't really know how to get it off. So I can remove it for you. Oh, that's Because um, nice. they're quite close to the surface. So I'll yeah. just use, I'll make a teeny tiny hole. Teeny yeah. tiny. Um, and then just squeeze it out. They normally come out in a little pearl. This yeah. is white ball. Sometimes they come out. Yeah, when they when they decide to. It's just trapped sebum. 
so trapped okay. under the skin so your exfoliation would really help so okay. i know it's closer to the eye but obviously gently and carefully i like the question there that you guys had why am i getting this treatment done oh yeah so i think it really because i think some people just get it done for the wrong reasons and it really helps you guys understand yeah what type of mindset the client is in absolutely it's really important no, um, a lot of the time it is for genuine, you know, good reasoning that people just want to yeah. take care of themselves. Yeah, this way, you, yeah, like you said, you can it's understand a client. Yeah, um, a lot. Gonna pop on your peel, so you may feel some tingling, okay, and it could mm -hmm. feel a bit itchy. Let me know if it feels too much, and we can remove it for you. But this stays on for two minutes, and this is your chemical exfoliation, okay. I don't know if you'll be able so to get it something up. like that. I'll have a good look, but something like that might be more so for lampro, which is what I mentioned earlier. So if it's really deep down, instead of squeezing and hacking at it, tiny probe that goes in and just draws it to the surface or even just dries it up. Okay, how's that feeling? That feels fine. I'm gonna pop a little timer on. Yeah, I can feel a bit of tingling now. Feels too much, let me know, but the tingling is normal. Back to the lab, try again. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but they're starting to pull out a little bit. I don't know how good the zoom is. These could be lines as well under the skin, so if they're not budging. Have you ever had a client that has loads? Yes. It must be so fun. Be there all day. Yeah, happily. Yeah, yeah. enjoying it as well. It's terrible. Well, I can't <laughs> watch the videos though. Can you not? No. I love it. <laughs> Let me know if you need a break, because I know this bit's not particularly pleasant. No, it's okay. that one for you and I'll have a look to see if there's anything else that we can get. Burning and toning, hydrating so it's your antioxidants. That's so where we've got those milia. Sometimes the antioxidants can tingle a little bit. Yeah. That's just because we've exfoliated. So the light should help um, with that on your neck as well. So I'm just going to pop your goggles on for you and then okay. I'll pop you under the light. Okay. <laughs> I just literally fell asleep under that machine there. We're just gonna finish up with the creams and SPF and everything now. How's your skin feeling? Tight? Yeah, it feels really tight. And it looks really shiny on this. Is it really yes. shiny? Yes, so it's what? just super clean and tight because the oxygen six are your antioxidants, toning and firming the skin. Yeah. Especially under the light as well, so it helps to boost your blood circulation, which is why you feel nice and rosy. Um, but this will just help to ease that tightness a little bit. So it's and it's glowing. Yes, lovely and glowing. Your makeup and everything will go on beautifully. You've got your sunscreen and primer, so it's very slightly tinted. And you know what primers feel like nice and silky, so it's got that same texture. Okay, that's good. Nice to take the redness down a little bit as well. 
So a lot of people actually just like to use this as their daily tinted moisturiser as such, but of course it yeah. is just a primer, an SPF, without that oil in it. it nicely mattifies the skin, it's lovely and smooth, but you've still got your protection. You are all done. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Four to six weeks later. And if you guys are wanting to get the hydro, hydro, hydro facial, I don't know what I'm saying. I hope that adds, <laughs> I, I've had too much coffee now. Oh my God. Take a deep breath. Anyways guys, I hope that answered all your questions when it comes to hydrofacial, why you might want to get it done, how it might help you, where it could take your skin benefits to, all these important things. I think my camera's shaking or am I shaking because I've had too much coffee? I don't know. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think about this video. Put a like on this video if you enjoyed watching this video. Um, also, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and I think there's something about like you can pick if you want to be like informed all the time or if you want to be informed sometimes and it automatically goes to sometimes but you should click all the time because you do want to get informed I'm like hypnotizing you, you do want to but no I'm joking so click it if you want to actually get informed I don't know what I'm saying anymore but I'm gonna go because I am talking way too much and I've had too much coffee okay bye